Okay, so we've got the basic framework for our project, right? But there's not much going on in here. We've got a settings file, and uh, that's pretty much it. A basic URLs file. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all these comments. You can hit Control S to save it, or you can come up here to File, Save, Command S, I think, if you're on a Mac. But other than this, there's nothing else really here. This init.py file is empty. There's never anything in it. Uh, we don't ever really use this thing. Here's our manage.py file. We don't do anything with it in the text editor. So what we need to do now is add an app to our project. Now, Django works on apps. Everything is an app, right? So if you have a website, that's an app. If you have a message board, that's an app. If you have a, um, I don't know, support center, that's an app. Every time you want to add something big to your project, you create an app for it. So we only really need one app for our project, but we need to create that. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. It's very simple. We just head over to our terminal, make sure you're in this Django weather slash weather directory. And we know this is the correct one because if we hit LS, we see this, there's our manage.py file. So clear the screen. So to create an app in Django, we just type in Python manage.py, start app, and then name our app. So uh, let's call this, what do we want to call it? We're going to be looking up weather. So let's just call it weather lookup. It's kind of a big name. Let's just call it lookup. All right. Okay. So now if we come back over here to our Sublime text editor, we see, boom, we have this lookup directory. And inside of here, there's all kinds of other files. Very, very cool. Now, the first thing you do always when you create a new app is to add that app to your setup file. So we come back to our, our main weather directory here and click this settings.py file and scroll down here till you see installed apps, right? So we need to add our new app to this list. So we just, if I could type, just name it. So it's look up. And now this is gonna be the same as whatever you called your app. So we called it look up, so that's look up. So I like to put a comma at the end there. I don't think you have to actually do that, but if you add other apps in the future, you need a comma to separate each one. So I always just put the comma in. So, okay, we're pretty much ready to go now. There's another thing you usually do when you create a new app, and that's to manage the URLs. If you're not familiar, a URL is, let's see, let's pull up our thing. This is our URL, right, localhost. So anytime we create a web page. So like if we create an about page, about.html, this is a URL. And we need to define that in our project. And to do that, we need a urls.py file. When we first created our project, our main weather directory had a urls.py file, but now we're dealing with this lookup app, right? So now we need to do stuff in the lookup app. And this lookup app doesn't have a urls.py file, so we need to create one. So we'll look at that in the next video.